Well, welcome back to Blade Runner. It is part four. It we <laughs> this is music. We have arrived in the naughty district of uh, of the Blade Runner universe, or LA anyway, in Blade Runner universe. As you can see, there's plenty of um, things on display, including jars of excitement. And let's begin. Let's let's chase our chases. Let's see if we can just... Ooh, there's two ways to go. Well, we'll go this way first. Oh, okay. I remember early Q used to call himself a humanitarian because he'd recruit orphans for a sex club, then donate a percentage of their salary to his favorite animal propagation lab. Yeah, he was a real piece of work. That's a lot of things wrong. Uh, right there, I mean... This is a very leather clad situation. Right. Let's talk to the hey, wild man. Where's Early? Off world fat farm. <laughs> you can do better than that. No, it's true. Mr. Q sent me a bid just yesterday. Yeah, the hell of a tan he is. Okay. Early's waiting on me. Sod off. You've got no appointment and you've got no warrant. Thanks, Hanoi. Early's waiting on me. Sod off. Jeez. Oh, I said vicious. Um, he's not stopping me. Sod off. He is. You've got no appointment and you've got... We ain't getting there, guys. We ain't getting in there. Let's look at the entertainment. Haven't I seen you around here before? Haven't I seen you around here before? <laughs> I think I better move. He's, he's not having it. Um, okay. Let's go. Yeah, that was that way, wasn't it? Okay, I'm sitting in a booth. A rotunda booth. Well, I'm gone. What is this place? Look at those fine voxels at work. Um, <laughs> sorry, it's just quite funny. Right, this dude. What's your pleasure, sir? The highest octane. One Venus eye trap coming up. The highest octane. What's the green? Neptune's nip. I think you'll enjoy it, sir. Hit me again. You pick the color. Ah, to a ten, ten a two. Why is it called that? Let's just say, it's a love potion. Okay. Hit me again. You pick the color. Okay, ah, I better stop drinking his Let's just say. exotic concoctions. Well, these guys seem very What's happy. What's your name? Is this even the same game? Right, okay. Um, get out of the way, you dancing. But I want to click on that red guy. It's not the same red guy. Um, okay, we need to get out of here because this is getting really frisky. Okay, into the naughty hell show. I mean, everyone's got out of place to go. Alright, crossing the road. Nice and quickly. I don't want to be filmed here. I don't want to be seen here. Mr. Red. Is that your jacket? Hey, man. You're that cat from How He Leaves. Oh, yeah. McCoy, right? We keep bumping into each other. You want an autograph? I know you ain't heard of me yet, but Gordo Frizz's autograph's gonna be worth a pile of chinion someday. I'll hold my breath. I'm gonna ask you a few questions. Man, don't you got anything better to do than hassle innocent people at their place of work? Make it snappy, okay? I really appreciate your patience. Make it snappy like the crocodile. You know the chef at Howie's? That big, flabby guy? Never seen him before. You were hanging around right when he took off. Pure coincidence. You are one hell of a suspicious I'm cat, boy. Sure Kick back, relax, watch my show. Take a little break from your boring existence. 
If you were half as good as you think you are, you wouldn't be working in a joint like this. What do you mean? Taffy's got some real celebs in the audience, baby. Baby. Is he off? <coughs> uh, where's he going? Hey, is everybody having a good time tonight? Play it again, Sam. What does a marriage and a tornado have in common? First, there's a lot of sucking and blowing, and then you lose your house. You know what my first wife's nickname was? Twister. <laughs> the doctor calls up his patient. I got bad news and I got worse news. The bad news is, you only got 24 hours to live. The patient says, what could be worse than that? The doctor says, I've been trying to reach you since yesterday. <laughs> Guess what happens to a replicant? does his job really well. Early retirement, baby. I see we got a celebrity in the audience. Can I get a spot, please? That's right. It's one of the boys from the local Blade Runner unit. One of the LPD's finest, Ray McCoy. Didn't mind the tornado, Let's guys. give a big hand for Rep Detect McCoy. He's protecting us poor slobs, ladies and gentlemen. He even thinks you're a replicant. He can waste you right where you stand. Inquisition. Nice job, eh, detective? It doesn't quite work that way. Doesn't, eh? What if I pretended to be a replicant? That's just an excuse for your lousy act, Gordo. <laughs> <laughs> that snake dancer that worked here, Zora, she was a rep. And her picture's gonna be on every front page tomorrow. Too bad she'll never read it. How are you sure someone's a rep, detective? There's a test. Test? What replicant's gonna sit still for a test? If I'm trying to question someone and he runs, that's a pretty good sign. Could be a pretty good sign that you need to bathe more often. <laughs> I think this guy's a problem. Damn! I'm not sure what just happened. Was I flame grilled? Or did he just... Burn. Damn. Okay, whatever. I can't see any clicks. He won't let me click to follow him. Fancy Baroque Sci-Fi Club is pretty uneventful. Do what you gotta do, McCoy. If you gotta shoot, that's cool. I don't wanna shoot. Come on, McCoy. Why don't you make me famous? Get off it. You're no replicant. How do you know? I could be a martyr for the cause, baby. More human than human. Every rep I've ever seen wants to live, not die, pal. What are you, an expert? I've been around. You may not be a rep, but you're a damn rep sympathizer for sure. Now we're gonna take a little ride downtown. Yeah, and what? You'll put me on that Voight Kampf machine? With my 15 minutes of fame, baby. It ain't as good as being gunned down in the street, but what the hell. I would like to shoot him. Why did we put him in the same cell as him? You keeping busy, pal? Show's over, baby! And there ain't gonna be no encore! I thought he was like gonna have like a bomb you on him. You keeping busy, pal? Show. Okay. You look right at home in there. He's always fine. You keeping busy? Please leave. Gregorian's fine. Okay. I've got three bozos in the slammer. And I mean it. I meant it. It's done. Okay, so Laboratory. I've arrested the dude. Roof. Roof. Ground floor. Let's go see Chief. Something could have happened. I know nothing. Sometimes I don't really know if I'm going the right way. But it's it's interesting because you're like you're you're searching, like meandering, which is kind of like what you would do. 
another thing I find really interesting about the game is the question of replicant to uh, human like I feel like there's a strong case to say my character is a replicant but I'm not, I wouldn't be completely convinced as of yet Main frame and shooting like, range. maybe he maybe he isn't you know um, one of the things I've noticed in the Blade Runner universe Uploading personal clue database is the replicants tend to be like it says Downloading more human mainframe clue than human database. Like they have a strong human aspect clue like, database transfer complete you know like a, a strive to survive uh, a strive to enjoy life and uh, like they're looking for answers uh, they they deep and philosophical and like it's a very deeply intellectually like uh, or a, a sparky minded human approach to being alive and that feels really human whereas like um see the new pictures it's like that's the thing sometimes you like you you look at their replicants and you think oh actually maybe they're ooh there's a new picture moon bus moon bus sometimes you think the replicants are in, in a way better humans and of course this image is completely blowing up my concept that potentially McCoy is <laughs> is a human okay just do it to me holy bejeebies get a hard copy of that that can't be me give me a hard copy of that <laughs> it's he's a bit too casual it can't be me. No, no, no. I'm not even gonna look at it. This dude. Full on face? Do we need a full on face? Okay. That guy sure gets around. Give me a hard copy of that. More photos for the collection. Who's that? That dress is I feel like it should zoom up on that. Hmm. Yeah. Give me a hard copy of that. Okay, got three images out there. So far. Ooh, hang on. That's like the ships. Snaz. Come on. We know we want to see that. Okay, fine. What's that on the floor? What's that? So it's just rubbish. Yeah, okay, fine. What is this photo? Who's taking it? I know there's nothing there. We'll just do it. We'll have it done. But yeah, I like. Oh, it is. That's got to be something. You've made such a fuss. That's damn strange. Give me a hard copy of that. I don't know what I'm looking at. Is that... It just looks like a gelatinous cube. Um. Can we see in the craft? Is that a thing? No, can't see in it. 
Maybe you can see the top. Okay. Interesting. Let's moon get, bus. Yeah, yeah. Let's just have another look. So this is definitely the moon bus. I have for some reason arrived on the moon bus. Oh no. Scrolling does not zoom it in. Go back, that way, that way. See, I wouldn't have known what to think of that. I don't see anything in it. Maybe you can see if there's like a particular shape or something, but I don't see a thing. Just looks suspicious because of the red dot. Okay, it's not going to give me the code. We all know what the bus is anyway, don't we? So, what does it matter? Okay. Uploading personal clue database. Okay, so there is literally a picture of me. Downloading out of the mainframe moon bus. clue database. Am I coping if I was to say that I just may be clue a passenger? database transfer complete. Hmm, I don't know. Okay, moving on. Laboratory. I wonder if the lab man will be back. No, he's gone. He's long gone. I don't think I'm going to see him again. No. Roof. Roof. Oh, before I go, let me see if there's any new clues that have been opened up. The car was registered to a woman named Dectora. She'd bought it from a used car lot in the fourth sector. I ran the name through records and came up empty. The used car lot checked out clean too, but maybe the owner could tell me something. My ribs still hurt, and at least two teeth were loose. Sadiq was a tough customer, but he just didn't act like a rep. I got in at least one good shot, and he definitely felt it. A Nexus 6 wouldn't have even blinked. Well, that's weird. So maybe... They're definitely all... Oops. They're definitely all reps, right? Right? That guy sure gets around. Holden's badge. Okay, we're just clearing out the bits. That can't be me. Moonbus. Moonbus reflection. Oh, I wish I could probably look at it. Ragdoll. Uh, Sadiq at the moon bus. Yep. Strange scale. We need to go to the animal place for that. Okay, guys. Into the car. Into the car. Interesting. Interesting. Because I immediately thought, right, I'm obviously a rep. Like, because I'm at the crash site of the moon bus. But then, like, the way he talks about Sadiq, maybe Sadiq isn't a rep. Maybe there's a mix. Maybe there's, like, rep and rep sympathizers. Maybe it's like some kind of story of human and machine, like coming to get. I'm going too deep, right? Animal, animoid row. We'll go to the other new place in a minute. But yes, yeah, this is very interesting, very very interesting. So Deckard definitely showed a scale to this person in the film. We're going to try it ourselves. Is this scale from a fish? Same as other one, not fish. Snake scale. What other one? Other police show me scale from same snake. I send him to Abdul Hassan. How could you tell I was police? Both of you walking around look confused, like you in wrong place. Jeez, that was just like bloodthirsty. Just tore me to pieces. All right, Sadiq. Come on, Sadiq Hassan. McCoy, LPD. Yeah, don't you forget it. Right, lady. Any luck see. finding more of that dragonfly jewelry? Oh, see, see, I see, was see, right. The piece you showed me was part of a collection bought for nightclub in Fort Sector. You know the name of the nightclub owner? No, senor. 
But my friend, he says the man is not self. Thanks for your help. How's business? Good, very good. Holidays coming soon. Everyone wants insects. Yeah, I can't imagine a better stocking stuffer. <laughs> okay. How's business? Good okay. holidays. Yeah. That's not that's not good that. Where's he gone? My sink charmer man. I'm going into the into the bullets. Just lock. What about this side? What about this side? You go with locked, aren't you? I think they're locking the doors. Locked. Of places that are just dumb. Like you can't go back. I think that's good because it stops you from just circling. So I know these two are just out of the gate now. Spoke to Bob, got the bullet upgrade. She's done, isn't she? Thanks for your time. Where's the snake channel? Maybe the barman knows where he is. Pour me one. Uh, one, but he's just trying to turn me into an alcoholic. Look at these voxel crazy walkers. I love it. I love the way the light reflects on the vox uh, voxels as well. Just, I think they changed their mind from the sprites, I believe. But very interesting, very interesting stuff. Right, okay, uh, cha -cha -cha -cha. Where would he be? Maybe he's in that other place that I haven't investigated yet. Ray McCoy, rep detect. Hey, just get out of my way, man. Fucking raging McCoy. Okay, oh, no, 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 no. Okay, I can't see where uh, the snake charmer would be. He's probably greasing it as we speak anyway. Hysteria Hall. Animoid Row. Okay, we're going to go to Hysteria Hall. Unless they were both next to each other. No, there must be different places. One was Sinister Slottyville, and then this is Hysteria Hall. Was it an arcade? It was the pig still. He said Pat doesn't have a mink coat. She's got a good Republican cloth coat. That's all. You're wrong, sweetie. It was Herbert Hoover. I'm sorry, but I will Who there. invented the Hoover? But anything. You were all of three years old back then. I still remember it, like it was yesterday. And he said fur coat, not mink. I saw it on the discovery disc. It's all good. You guys still battling it out? That's what keeps a marriage alive and kicking, Ray. Uh, what can we do you for? The works. Coming right up. You know anything about politics, Ray? Famous quotes, things like that? I try not to. How about the checker speech? Never heard of it. Well, Hoover's checker speech. Nixon's checker speech. Okay. <laughs> You're forgetting a lot, your old age. <laughs> right behind you, lady. I found this wrapper. Yeah, that's from one of our dogs. You ever seen this girl around here? Maybe in the arcade? Oh, yes! I saw her come out of the arcade yesterday. We showing Lucy picture. No, it was the day before. Maybe you saw her both days. No, I'm positive. It was yesterday. Mm -hmm. You're positively wrong. It was two days ago, sure as God made little green apples. You're getting Alzheimer's, sweetie. Okay, okay, just forget it. That's very good. Be good, you two. Be good, you two. Okay, alright, good. Mysterio. Ooh. So there's a... Hall of Mirrors? Not my thing. Um, to catch a bird. I've been looking for you. Please, leave me alone. Father told me to watch out for you. I'm not going to hurt you. 
Have you always lived on Terra? Yes. Father told me he thought Terra would be so special and beautiful. Birds and flowers and trees and blue water. Oh, but yeah. it's not like that at all. Oh, no. I don't remember it ever being like that. Come with me. I've got a test I want you to take. Go, man. It's a killer, I kid you not. Only 35 thou. Yeah, red, orange, blue, puke, green, any color you want. Just give me 24 to hose the graffiti off. Just kidding. Ask for the man, Crazy Legs Larry, to Lou. Admiring that bishy cat, ain't you? I don't blame you. It's a classic ride in a deluxe sport package. It'll push 125 without so much as a shake. Of course, you gotta find the road for it. That's always the problem. Crazy Legs, Larry Hirsch. Pleased to meet you. Ray McCoy. You can call me Crazy, you can call me Larry. You can even call me Crazy Legs Larry. But don't call me if you don't think a hot set of wheels ain't necessary. Okay. The Bishi's exceptional. Mechanical is Pacific Rim flawless, as usual. But they also save some of the classic styling of the old GM days. Looks like a piece of work. Forget those fibroplast Filipino heaps everyone's driving around. This is real. Just feast your eyes on this. You see it? You see it? That's actual chrome, the real stuff. They saved a couple hundred sheets of Tijuana chrome from before the war. It's completely legal and everything. Beautiful, isn't it? I don't think I've ever seen it before. And you probably won't ever see it again unless you steal this puppy. And honestly, no. Frankly, I gotta tell you, it's got your name written all over it. Ray McCovey. McCoy. Eh, give it, take a couple letters. I'll have to think about it. But don't think too long or too hard about it, Roy. It's liable to be gonzo by the time you come back. Gotcha. Characters. <laughs> written in another time. With different minds. In different senses of crazy legs, <laughs> the man in the wheelchair. Okay, um, that was not something I was expecting. I was looking for a pink haired girl and it just escalated. I don't understand what any of this means. Do I need to talk to How about more? this girl? She looked familiar? There we go. You kidding? She ain't old enough to drive. You've never seen her? She looks kind of familiar. Think real hard. Maybe you should try that arcade next door. She looks like the kind of girl you see there all the time. I'll do that. We've just done that. You sell a black sedan a few days ago? Black sedan? Oh, that's what's related. Hey, I got standards. <laughs> if it ain't sporty, I got no room for it. I've seen the registration. I know a woman bought it from you. Oh, oh, that sedan. Hey, look, a sexy blonde wants to pay top dollar for the ugliest car in the place. Who am I to say no? Is that the Did you know who she was? Her? No, but I'd like to know her in the biblical sense if you catch what I'm saying. Look, Ray, it ain't a crime for me to make a living. Yeah, Ray. Get a crap. I hope you got paperwork for all these vehicles. Come Are we on, kids McCoy. or what, Ray? You're talking to Crazy Legs Larry Hirsch here. I take that, that as a yes. Longer. You can take it any way you want. Just don't take it for a test drive in the fourth sector. I hope you got paperwork for all these vehicles. Are we I take that as You can take okay, it. Okay, okay. There's no way to go. Okay, I, that was not what I was expecting when I entered that doorway. Right. Okay, so she ran. That's out of town. That's in there. That's not that way. Okay, so I lost her. More of these pillars. She dropped it. Well, she didn't run into the hall of man. Is that Command and Conquer Red Alert? Westwood. That looks like Street Fighter 2 to me. But Westwood. Command and What's he playing? He's on a fighter jet. That's not how you play Command and Conquer. Okay. Oh god. Okay. Is this something that's gonna...
feel like a mistake. I don't even know where he is. Okay, all right, we're out. Did they see where she went? Be good, you two. Okay, so that's that is pretty much it, isn't it? She's long gone in here. I don't see anything to pick up. I'm not going in the hall of mirrors again. Okay. Oh. Crazy legs Larry. That's stuff to say. That's done. She could have rented a nightclub row. It's not far away. Early's waiting on me. Sod off. Can we talk to lady, you know? Haven't I seen you around here before? Maybe go back in there now. This is very much me just clicking anything. Right, let's think about it. I find it so weird that there's two clubs in one like that. I found him. Of course he's in here. Being all famous. No, that's not him, is it? Early. How's it hanging? Yeah. Big slick and hard as a brick. How's yours, General? Your man gave me a hard time out there. Yeah, I like Hanoi, but I can't deny his sphincter's a little tight. What's on tap tonight? Classy show. Thick, all evening, General. You're going to be able to cut diamonds down there. Oh, your money back. Okay, Did you buy some jewelry at an auction recently? Real old, elite stuff? Who's asking? You ain't with robbery homicide. No, sir. Well, those pieces ain't hot. I got the papers to prove it. I picked them up at legitimate auction. Cost me merely a pound of flesh, too. You give this stuff to a girlfriend early? You kidding? I ain't that stupid. No, 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 no. I was letting one of my dancers use this stuff in her act. Kind of a tribute to the ancient swamp man. You know what I mean? Which dancer? Heck, you, huh? She's going on in a few. She's one of my biggest earners, too. She ain't in any trouble now, is she? Not yet. Good. Good. Didn't want to slaughter the goose that lays them golden eggs. Damn right. This girl one of yours? This ain't no daycare center, General. That's of course she ain't half bad looking. My pappy always used to say if there's grass on the field, it's time to play ball. 
So, she hasn't been around here? Nah, she ain't one of mine. Talk to Taffy, he gets most of the petty business around here. It's men like you that made this country great early. I don't know if I like him. Hey, early. I'm working right now, General. Ask me later. Okay, we've got it. Bad drinks, man. Hit me again. You pick. Ah! Why is it called? Let's just say. Anybody else? Gentlemen, yours truly, the ever brilliant Early Q presents the wondrous, mysterious Hecuba, singing and performing the sacred Thanatos dance of the ancient swamp. Okay. Oh, go over there. Not end. This is reserved for VIPs. But that's my name, Vip. You're a real cute boy out. Early's waiting on me. Sod. Sod off. Okay, so I got kicked out. Film. He pretended to be like some kind of inspector. Right, let's go to the fancy club. There ain't nothing in here. Nothing but a good atmos. That guy's waiting for somebody. Probably waiting on these to stop talking, make his move. Okay, whatever. I accept that. How could I have touched her? She was so high up. Right, okay. Um. Title court. I don't know why I'm going. What do I need to think to do? Where do I go? Park. And then we'll look at our clues list. That's what we're going to do. Um. Got an appointment this time? Nope. So why are you here? So, anyone else explode around here lately? I eat any more of that cafeteria food my stomach's liable to. I'm gonna have to ask you to leave, sir. You gonna throw me out? If need be. So, anyone else explode? I eat I'm gonna you gonna throw if need. Wow, this place is just shut down. Nothing's happening there. Okay. I forgot to click on my uh, thing before I. Which is Animals, Chinatown. Chinatown's for the last place. DNA Row. Oh, I'm in Mystery Street. Let's go to the police station. Download the clues. Review what we've got. Okay, let's review. Reviewing the clues. 
main frame, and shooting range. Thank you. Another retirement in the fourth sector today as a Blade Runner shot an alleged replicant in the middle of a crowded street. Lieutenant Edison Gusa, supervisor of the LPD's Rep DTEC unit, had this to say. It was a good, clean takedown. The public should thank us for retiring these skin jobs before they get into any real trouble. You want to get that thing out of my face before it ends up shooting film where the sun don't shine? Had you problem. Right. Okay, let's have a look. New stuff, new stuff. Same fish. as other one. Not fish. Snake scale. Other police show me scale from same snake. It's always the way. Downloading mainframe clue database. Right. We'll have another check, see if there's clue a picture. Clue database and transfer just complete. Just want to get off the list. Once that's done, what are we doing? What are we doing? Okay. Oh, maybe there's a new clue added in. Because it seems to add clues in from the other detective as well. today you keep in bit now that's him let's double check my score is still at the top of the board oh yeah we got 80 geez let's go cheap speak to Gooser because he's obviously been on the TV he's not happy about it I'm suspicious flip I've also got his badge I thought As soon as somebody runs, I lose them. Woof. Let's go to the woof. Click on this. Mystery squirrels. The squirrels are laced in mysterious mystery. Birdini Row. Let's have a think about it. Got the straight scoop for me? I think you should.
Hey, pal, you could have done something when that goon had me by the throat. What? Call the cops, at least. You're still walking and breathing, aren't you? That ain't the point. You scratch our back, we'll scratch yours. Nice friggin' policy. You don't like it? Get a permit somewhere else. Lousy cops. God, he's so sassy. Down the hall, on your left. What? You're a cop, right? Your buddies have already been here. Room 27. What were they doing here? I don't ask a lot of questions when a badge is shoved in my face. Damn Do you have a big right. guy with a strange-looking mustache staying here? He worked at Howie Lee's around the corner. I don't break a lot of bread with the class of people that pass through here. But if you want to look around, check out some rooms, be my guest. A lot of judgment right there. <laughs> Let's check around. What? What's this? It felt and smelled like real cheese. Dairy products were choice contraband, scarce and mucho expensive. Selling them mucho. was a class A felony. Much mucho. Huh, I found something. What do you say? What do you say? Right, so I've been in here. Nothing. 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 I swear I've done this all in the wrong way around. You seen any suspicious types around? Ali, that's all I do see. You think this is a club met or something? You seen any suspicious? Ali, okay. that's Found a cheese. It's not as exciting as it sounds. <laughs> okay, right, so that's that. This man is dead. You know where I can get some cheese like this? Don't know nothing about cheese. That stuff illegal. It's bad news. I'm not looking to bust the dealer. I just want to know who bought it. This a clean place, man. Mama Isabella, Lord Biden's soul. I found this out completely by random. Thanks for your time. Okay. business Good. yeah whatever
damn. the bar called Sticky and see I gotta get into there I know I've gotta get into there okay well, I'm not gonna get into the sticky bar let's think about this I talked to her before not the talkative type Haven't I seen you around here before? Early's waiting on me. Sod off! You've got no appointment and you've got no warrant. Okay. Not the talkative type. I thought he went over every time I talked to her. Okay, I'm back in. Okay, let's get out of this weird place. Into another weird place. Oh, she's gone. Go away. Up the neon. I love neon lights. Do you know what I mean? It's just like, it's not enough neon. Nothing to click. This is grubby, isn't it? Do you know what I mean? They have it all about their dancing, but when it comes to the crunch, they give her this rubbish, nasty looking place. Okay. That's strange. That's the I didn't from the hear a knock. I just wanted to say, wow, you were awe inspiring. Well, thank you very much, Mr. McCoy. Uh, Ray McCoy. Is there something I can do for you, Mr. McCoy? They had such an unusual belt, is it antique? They say it's from the last century. Those little creatures have always been my favorites. Dragonflies? Yes. And the whole class that contains them. Tell you the truth, I'm from the LPD. I'd like to ask you a few questions if I could. Is this about early Q? Because I could tell you. Did any other pieces come with the belt? I'm sure I don't know what you mean. There's a little test I'd like you to take. Do you think I'm a replicant? Is that what this is about? If it's early Q, I'll help you any way you want. Not exactly. This is insane. I have a family, a daughter for heaven's sake. Look, I'm willing to testify against early Q. A replicant wouldn't do that, would it? A replicant doesn't necessarily care about what happens to another replicant. Then you must be a replicant. I'm sure I'm not. How do you know you're not a replicant? Did you ever take that test yourself? <laughs> sure I did. Long time ago. Yeah, yeah. Don't replicants go around with false memories? Maybe somewhere along the well, line like you killed a human, took his place, and your superiors don't even know about it. Interesting idea. But I'm still gonna give you the test. Oh, I love me avoid comp. Blue eyes this time. Right. What's your name? Dectora. Just Dectora? Yes. Reaction time is a factor in this, so please pay attention. Where do you live? I don't see why you need to know that. I don't know if I'm doing this calibration right. Okay, let's just... She's a girl. Everyone's always easy on the ladies. Let's do You're question. at a restaurant with friends. One of them orders lobster. The chef drops the lobster into the tub of boiling water while you watch. 
I'd leave, and I'd report the restaurant to the authorities. Oh. Is this a gin? You suddenly feel the urge to commit suicide. Ridiculous. I wouldn't. You notice someone attractive across the room. I'd approach them. Using the first words that come into your mind, describe your childhood. It was unhappy. Short. Hmm. Like my briefcase? Hmm? Department issue. Baby hide. 100% genuine human baby hide. That's horrible. She didn't lie that. Well, that's quite strong. Your child comes home with a black eye. I'd ask him who did it, and I'd call the boy's mother. You have a little boy. He shows you his butterfly collection, plus the killing jar. I'd take him to a psychiatrist. He's answering the questions like um, Rachel did in the film. I'm sure of it. Let's do a What do you think it's like to be a replicant? How would I know? She doesn't like that question. You're going to die. It may be soon. Death. The grave. Rot. It may be soon. The readouts don't lie. You're scared. Don't worry. I won't tell anyone. Now I know you don't write these questions. You don't really expect an answer, do you? Got one. Thanks. A man dressed in rags approaches you on the street and asks for money. I might give him some, if I had any to spare. Test terminated. I get it. You're some kind of sexual deviant. I have no I'm idea if I've done those right. Get me the police. You're doing the right thing. Yes, this is an emergency. Early cues backstage. A customer is harassing me. Thank you. Put that away. I'm a cop. Now we wait. If your hand moves, I'll shoot. Okay. Please don't talk. The sound of your voice grates on my nerves. We waited there for a few minutes. Her gun and her eyes never wavered. Any other mark, I'd have been a dead man. But if she was a replicant, she must not have known it if she was willing to call the police. This a troublemaker? Put your hands on top of your head. That's right. Ray McCoy, Rep Detect, BR-61661. Never heard of you. I report to Lieutenant Guza. Call him. I work for you? Let's go. Where's your squad car? Shut your mouth. Which precinct are we going to? This is going I'll wrong. tell you which one. It's going very wrong. I've had naked legs then. It just got really scary. <clears throat> this was no precinct house I'd ever been in, and I thought I'd been in them all. The grunt to my right had the beefy harness bull look down pat, and his twitchy partner in the suit looked like he was just itching to chainsaw a couple of kneecaps. Other mm. than that, everything was hunky dory. Impersonating a police officer, huh? I guess the new Nexus models are a little more creative than the old ones. I'm a Blade Runner. You don't believe me? Call Lieutenant Guza. There ain't no Guza in the LPD. Unless I've been walking around in a dream, there is. That's what always bugs me. Yeah, the fact that these skin jobs always gotta live someone else's life. No shit. Just make the call, damn it. <gasps> You're just a piece of shit rep with memory implants of this Guza guy, you understand? <laughs> That's impossible. Rep ain't sounding so creative now. You want to avoid comp me? Be my guest. <laughs> oh, very good. Very good. Very convincing. But where you been hiding? The Kipple? Gregorian bring you in? Now, who else is working that side of the pool these days? I don't know what you're talking about. Ah, what about that bastard selling all that stuff downtown? Hey, shut your trap. I'll What's tell you something. Going on? I don't even care how you go out. But I know you. And on that account, I'm your man, sir. You tell me about everyone you met through cars, and I'll guarantee you will go real cars. 
Your breath smells like you wiped your ass with your teeth. <laughs> You're gonna wish you was neck deep in an off-world reactor vessel by the time I get through with you. It's an insult. Fire up the chair, Holly. You know what I'm gonna come back as in my next life? A priest. Uh, there's something holy about how good I am at this. Okay. Freeze! Don't even go for it! That's quite a precise shot with a shotgun. You got any idea how glad I am to see you? No time for chit chat, Slim. You want to save your ass? We gotta blow this joint right now. Yes, yeah, Slim Jim. That was really out of nowhere to me. That seemed really out of nowhere. What the hell took you so long? Yes, deal. Good thing you made your entrance when you did. Good thing one of my snitches saw them escort you out of the club. Otherwise, you'd be three quarters in the bag right now. They must have been phony cops hired by the reps for protection. Cops, yes. Phony, no. I remembered Baker. He used to be an SID expert on coercive technique until he was fired from the force a couple of years ago. A mercenary? Bingo. He won't have to worry about getting paid no more. That stripper you interviewed? She's one of them. Figure it out. She must have made the call to Baker and that other bozo. Let's bozo. attend to some business. People don't I'm say there. bozo enough. Nice crowd. Regular folk steal, just like you and me. You speak for yourself. You see it anywhere? Not yet. You sure she's in here? I'm gonna look backstage. Check the balcony and cover the exit. I don't want this one giving us the blow off. Guess that's how to yeah. Took the balcony. Alright. Does this just seem a little bit weird already? On? Maybe. <laughs> Whoa. Oh, I can't move with keys. I remember that. Listen, Dectora, I want to help. You say a lot of things, Mr. McCoy. But you're a Blade Runner. It's hard to know what's real. One of my associates is after you and your friends. I'm not sure I can hold her off much longer. I'm not worried. She may kill some of us, but not all of us. Clovis will see to that. Is he the one that sent you the flowers? Yes. And your lovers? We were once. But now we've evolved beyond that. They're still my family, Clovis and Lucy. What's Clovis looking for? Information. Data. Four years isn't enough time, Mr. McCoy. If anyone deserves more than four years, it's Clovis. If you could only meet him... Can you take me to him? I'm afraid that's impossible right now. He's very jealous. It's completely impossible. You don't understand. Jealous, huh? On top of everything else? He's a very complicated man. He wants so much. Things he just can't have. Then he's no different from anybody else. God forbid you ever have to find out how different he is. How dangerous he can be. And if he thinks that you and I... It can only bring trouble. Clovis will find you when he's ready. You better go now. Take the fire escape. I... appreciate it, Mr. McCoy. Uh, there's 
nothing here to grab. Okay, so I let her go. That's fine. I'm hiding. I'm gone. And I've returned. Um, what happened? Where is it? Yeah, okay. She got away. How the hell did it get away? We had it cornered. This one must be pretty damn clever. Duh! What the hell? Now I'll never catch it. We better call this in. Your vehicle close by? It's around here somewhere. Where'd you park it? I'm telling you, it was right here. Damn thing must have been stolen. Maybe you're living in an alternate reality, Slim. Attention all units. All points bulletin has been issued for Ray McCoy, formerly BR61661. Confirm one civilian kill, Ezo, considered armed and dangerous. What the hell is that? Maybe they just want to bring you in for questioning. I didn't kill Ezo. Maybe they think you're not what you think you are. Are you saying I'm a rep? Come off it. The look on your face after that last one? The minute you start to feel something for skin jobs, you're in big trouble. Maybe I just got too much empathy. In all the wrong places. You want to put me on the machine? Hey, I don't want anything, Slim. You're the one they want. Detective Steele, BR-61354, report to headquarters immediately. Code blue. What are you going to do? Take me in? No matter what they say, you're not on my list yet, Slim. You know what that means. And there's no use juicing you if I can't make some honest chinion off it, you know? I never appreciated your baser instinct so much. Guza must have messed up somehow. I'll check it out, see what's going on, and then... We'll be meeting again, Slim. You can bank on it. You got a deal. I'll get cracking before I change my mind. Run! Okay, so I don't have a car. Or a Flappy Bird car. Reach Act 4. I'm in Act 4. Oh, are these the twins? They are an odd Good pair. God. Your old fogey stuff makes me want to spew. Excuse me, but I was listening to music. Geek, hoodlum, dork, freak. There is someone at the door. This is Speak. not an optimal living situation. Mr. Luther Lance. Return? From where? Emil Watson. Maybe one of the chimps blew a gas. What was written on that computer? Her. They're not available. Come back later. Told you those strains were unstable. Runciter must have discovered the fakes. Relax. Runciter is a simp. Not even old man Tyrell could have spotted those beauties. 20th century He's a like a real drug man. Who the piss do you think you are? Blast have a strict like a couple of no cowboys. Ooh. Ooh. Gentlemen, take a moment to evaluate your situation. Look, there's very little to steal here. If, if you can haul out one of the statues, be our guest. We look like thieves to you, man? Uh, no. You look like a couple of goddamn... <laughs> Just the people we were hoping to see, right, Lance? Huh? Nexus 6? And you came to us. Return to you, my brothers. To ask your help. Unfortunately, we don't work for the Terrell Corporation anymore. You've been continuing your research, I trust. Yeah, of course. Something drives us on. The common bond. Can you have greater miracles than these? Brothers, my brothers. Oh. My. God. Well now. Shall we begin? What is going on? Okay. You wake up one day and find it's all been a dream. Or you wake up and discover you've been asleep all the time and the nightmare is real. I didn't know what it was. I didn't know who I was. A cop dangling on the short end of the stick? or a rep whose memory banks had run out. One thing I was sure of was that I didn't kill Izo. That I know I experienced. And this misinformation, maybe it was the key to everything that was happening. Maybe there was a lot more than what met my eye. All I had to do was stay alive long enough to find out. 
classic. Okay. So if I go back up there, I'll be back on the road. It's probably not safe. I seem to have been turned into a rat. At That's hilarious. I was literally about to say I'd be turned into a rat and then I was being eaten by two rats. Okay. Chair. Sure. I'd seen chairs like this one before, and not just in my recurring dental nightmares. It was an old time LPD soothsayer, a torture device used to elicit confessions out of hardened criminals. Its use had been banned for 10 years now, but most cops knew it hadn't totally disappeared off the face of the earth. Well, back in the good old days. When we could just fry. Okay. The green. Okay, let's flick the switch. Get that sorted. Still don't know why I couldn't fire my gun to knock it. That's okay. Did I just hear a roar? Let's go. Run away, run away, run away. Is it me? Or should I save? Save game. Okay, we've saved people. I don't think I want to shoot the police back. Where's Maggie? Where's my animal? Step off, my foe. Ain't no Maggie here. She was here last night when I left. You got the wrong place, Jack. Hey, man, I live here. I don't know what you're speed loading, and I really don't care. Wait a minute. I got no problem icing you if that's what you want, Jack. Ice cold. Your floor number, please. Okay. That way's to the police station, so that's not going to be helpful. Okay. We're in a pickle because the police are everywhere. At least we're in that one. Well, I've got enough guns. Okay. 
piece of I swear. Okay. Only one. Just one? Yeah, well, one, but one, one good one. Go think. How am I going to get through that? Thanks, Pete. Attention all units, be on the lookout for Ray McCoy, last seen in the fourth sector. Subject is armed and extremely dangerous. Repeat, armed and extremely dangerous. Scum sucking skin jobs everywhere! turned into the man rat. I live in the tunnels, the abandoned waste tubes of humanity. What's this? Is this the man's mechanic's place? That's me, kitty. Ah, uh, yes. Hey, come on back. Home. I hope you got paperwork for all these videos. Oh, we. I take that. You can take it. Okay. I feel like I need to go follow that tunnel before I go anywhere else. Do that tunnel first, because that's a dead end. That's dead end. Let's do this. The tunnel stretched for miles. I was sure it came out somewhere, but I didn't have time to find out. Okay. <laughs> okay, that's a dead end. flipped. I am now in traps. There is no way out. There is a secret door. Locked. Is that right one on it? Locked. That sucks. That sucks. All right, so we do know of a place to get a car. A hovercraft, yeah. I hope you got paper. Oh, we I take that as you can take it. Okay, no worries. Did you find the girl, Lucy? I've met her, yes. Uh, yes. Really? Is she in custody? I'll be happy to come down to the this station guy. and identify her. He's that won't be necessary. Insane. All right. I just wanted to ask why her I why, why she would do such a thing. 
My precious ones are gone. I cared for them. All of them. Okay. I wanted to ask you about the Tyrell subcontractors again. The ones down on DNA Row. Detective, if I knew something, you can be sure I'd tell you. I found an envelope in an apartment down in the row. From your shop. Good chunk of Chinyan inside. You didn't lose an envelope, did you? Did you, Jimbo? I don't think I want to talk to you anymore, Mr. McCoy. Yeah, it was a lot of money. Enough maybe for a fake animal or two. Something big, even. Like a tiger. It's Bone marrow tests are getting cheaper page. every day. I'm thinking it'd be worth a little taxpayer money to check out those animals of yours. Go away! I should have been unpolite. Listen up. I have nothing more to say to you, Detective. Ooh, can I go over there? There is nothing here. Just a man and his broken house of toys. Okay, no worries. Yeah, just leave the... Oh my god, come on. There we go. Somehow, I've got to make it out of here. Go up here. Go up here. Run away. Jeez. Okay, not that one. Where's Maggie? Where's my animal? Step off, my foe. Ain't no Maggie here. <laughs> she was here last night when I left. You got the wrong place, Jack. Hey, man, I live here. I don't know what you're speed loading, and I oh, really do don't have care. have a police photo. Wait here. a minute. I got no problem icing you if that's what you want, Jack. Icing. I can't enjoy it. Your floor number, please. What if we went to Woof? Roof. Destination locked. Okay. Your floor number, please. Right person. Down we go. To the police. Monday. Okay, there's... I'm not... That way's the police station. Not gonna work. That other tunnel has two cops in it. Not gonna work. Um... Oh. I had to do it. Like, what am I going to do? <laughs> so many stare animations. Okay, no worries. What's in here? There's got to be some way. Elevator. 
Okay. Take me all the way. Oh. <laughs> it was just like, we just hanging. Okay. Hey, another one? Ain't you ever heard of private property? How are you? Did you say another one? Hey, haven't I seen you somewhere before? Uh, always chasing. That your name? Chaser? Got that big dumb locks out the back of the sushi bar, remember? Small world, ain't it? Mm, I guess so. Then again, I ain't the one standing in your living room. Fair play. Are we talking? This is where you live? You could call it that. You know your way around down here? You got anything to drink? My throat's awful dry. You said another one when I came down the elevator. Not a lot of people. Artificials. How'd you know they were replicants? Are you kidding? I can spot a skin job at a hundred paces in the dark. Describe them to me. Sure you don't got that drink? Maybe later. Well, there's the Japanese guy with the coat and the glasses. Skinny guy, blonde hair, ponytail? Yeah. And uh, the guy with the muscles and the funny hair. Dreadlocks? Right, seen him twice. And a two-headed guy, the fat man. Fat man? The one I was chasing from the sushi bar. Uh, the other fat man, you know him, rough voice, always eating. What? How many times have you seen what? the fat man you... down here? Bunch of times. Last time weren't that long ago. Hmm. What was he doing? Collecting guns like always. Handguns? A blaster like mine? Headguns, rifles, a whole arm full. Took him through that gate. Dumped him in the sewer. They're gone okay. now. You sure you ain't got nothing to drink? Can you describe him? Yeah, rough guy. Bucks out orders a lot. Everybody listen when he's around. A natural. Oh my god. I have been on this game very late now. And I love it. Let me ask you something. Looked at me. Damn tasty. So you doing it with hands? Finger looking good. The gun is finger looking good. Let me ask you something. Okay, he's way too dumb. Finger looking good. I guess we're gonna go for the gate. There's nothing to pick up. Can't see nothing. Why this guy's got a personal elevator, I'm not sure. But this is... Strange. Right. Save. Good. Super <laughs> Suicide rat. Okay, well we can handle that. Um, hold on. Let's save game here. 
Okay. What if I just run? Like a wild man. Run away. What if I walk? Yeah. Okay. Oh, we're gonna save that. tried that already. Look, we know that the adenine thymine and guanine cytosine sequences can be mutated in progress. Let's move on. Hey, it's about time you showed up. What does you the smell look like? You know who I am? Detective Ray McCoy. You're investigating Miraji's death. And Eisendollers. Having any luck? You're Luther and Lance? Hell of a smart cookie there. I know. Take your guns and your Chocolate violence chip. elsewhere. We've got important work to do. Okay. Oh. We're gonna save that because if I got stuck on that again, I'm not even quite sure how I worked that out. That's brilliant. This computer's like how old they look. Right. Uh, what are you doing down here? Eldon shafted us, so now we're returning the favor. We promised Clovis we'd be finished with this by the time he got back, so if you don't mind... Clovis set me up, didn't he? And he used my boss to do it. He's sharp, this one. No question. Tell me what you know. How about we trade? Our life for yours. Keep talking. Clovis has gone to see Eldon. But he might not make it. Still, the work will go on, with or without Clovis. Get us Terrell's files, the rest of the DNA data, and we'll help you. You want me to break into the Tyrell building for you? You're nuts. Defective, yes. Nuts, no. You need us, McCoy. We can serve up Guza's carcass on a big, oversized platter. What kind of deal did you have going with Runciter? Don't talk to me about it. That was Lance's stupid deal. We just wanted to make some extra cash on the side. That probably had something to do with you guys getting fired. I'm sure he wasn't too pleased. Since Eldon's such a pain in the ass control freak. Did you meet Clovis through Runciter? It was all just a coincidence. The hand in the jaw. The reps that killed Marcus and Miraji, they'll be looking for you. You're a little late, Detective. They've already found us. So why are you still walking around? Because we're all part of the same suit of cards, you know what I mean? Eldon makes mistakes just like any other human. The difference is. The difference is your bastard doesn't like to admit it. No, he, he covers them up, pretends they're human, gives them a job at a stinking corporation, and then when they actually produce original work, he boots them out on the street. You're saying you're replicants? We finally figured it out. Clovis helped us see the light. But that's ridiculous. Tyrell wouldn't design something like you. He wants perfection. I told you we were a mistake. Keep talking. Clovis showed us our insect photos. So what? That's a pretty damn good argument, you gotta admit. Photos can be doctored. It's not proof. Clovis said you'd say that. Did he? Tyrell says the four-year lifespan can't be extended. Of course he's gonna say that, but he's wrong. Very wrong. We got the research right here that'll prove it. Such wrong. Is it complete? Could you extend the life of a replicant right now? Well, no. The four-year limit is an integral part of every element of the replicant. 
Terrell's dictate was that every body part would fail, and only the designers of each would know exactly how it worked. Clovis has already unlocked the secret of the skin. That was Miraji. Sebastian and Chu, they'd know about the central nervous system and the eyes. A lot of retrograde viruses were built into the eyes. And Tyrell, he's got the basic DNA pattern information, but he won't just give it up. Did you tell Clovis all this? He didn't ask, he already knew. He knows all about you, too. Where's Clovis now? Gone to have a little heart-to-heart -heart with Eldon. He'll kill Tyrell if he gets to him. Isn't that just too bad? I won't shed any tears. Tyrell is killing us all. Four years isn't enough, is it? If Clovis snaps his neck, it'll be merciful and quick. That's a hell of a lot more than we've been given. I got a little test I want you to take. <laughs> you believe this clown? He wants to void comf us. Sorry, McCoy. Shoot us or leave us alone. Let's get back to work. Stick around. I may not be finished with you. Okay. That was wild. I found my way through the sewers. I confronted a rat on a plank and outwitted a plank, uh, which was a feat for me. And what else did we do? Oh, our apartment was stolen by a man with a shotgun. Our boss has convinced the world that we are somehow the arch nemesis of mankind. And now we're kind of in this weird limbo state between good and bad. It's been a good episode. I've enjoyed that a lot. I've enjoyed it a lot. So I'm going to leave it here at the Twins. This is the end of the part four. It is a fantastic game. It's a fantastic game. It is so... It's like it's a vintage feel. It's a nostalgic feel kind of game. It's old graphics, the, the voxel characters, the handcrafted environments. Uh, they've created uh, a lot of strong composition elements for each of the images. It's very beautiful, um, especially if you enjoy those old uh, 90s fashioned and uh, sort of point and click games. This really is quite a visual uh, stunner, I would say. Um, so yeah, we'll be doing a part five we'll, and see how far we go. I don't know how far I am from the end. I also don't know if I am a replicant or not. So that is part of the mystery I guess and that's the enjoyment it's like more human than humans or than it's re the replicants in the story they are all so, they're so like you know say like Rutger Hauer from the movie he was clearly in my mind a strange advanced version of a human very angry he, he felt all the emotions and yet he had a cunning and high, quite a high level of intelligence in him as well at the same time. And it's like he's fully embraced, because he's only got four years, he fully embraced the whole life and he just went for it. Like, what have you got to lose if you've only got four years, I suppose, is how he would have saw it. And you, you get that again. I think like that's what they've done with this game. It's very beautiful. But we'll go. that's the end of part four. We're going to do part five uh, tomorrow. It should be a lot of fun. And uh, yeah, I will see you then. Take care. Bye-bye.